You know what I wish for? Some basic, beautiful page that I'm using. So place like these, toilet paper rolls, old book pages, my tea to color the pages, doing some stains, uh, some watercolor paper, and that's it. I have some inks as well, just in case. My page already has beautiful watercolor paper on top. And I'm hoping for some drawing as well and using this weird supply that I purchased uh, only last week. Never used it before, didn't even open, so I'm not too sure what's that. We're gonna try this together. I wish for some no-cost uh, project where we just going with the flow, where we're just feeling something amazing with the most simple things. I think the beauty is in the simplicity. I truly believe that. And I would love some page, vintage style. I also have one more watercolor page here because I really wish to rip that page. Look, this is such a gorgeous idea because you have this lovely edge and I'm hoping to get that more. And I'm hoping to have some bit of, um, some bit of texture going on and hopefully color with that tea. This is like a two days old tea. That's a lot of brown. But I also have the sepia brown from uh, calligraphy ink. But we're gonna start with tea and see if we can actually make something amazing with that. Um, I have glue stick just to start with, just to begin. And also, this is watercolor paper pad. But this, as you can probably tell, I just added a better quality watercolor paper. I just, I'm not necessarily fan of this particular one. So I like this one. I'm going to use this one. And I, a few days ago, I just glue it down together. Uh, how about starting from adding, oh, I love, love, love. Oh, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to just start off by just jumping in with the glue. I wish to say with the glue that it's, this one is just so much wrong. And I think the glue that I love the most is taken by Hannah, but that's okay. So I'm going to use this one, which I like it as well. You can, this is great glue because it's the uh, Elmer's glue and you can move stuff if you're not too sure about it. So you can glue it down and then move it away, move it around if you change your mind and stuff like that. Okay, so we have this. How about doing one more layer, interestingly enough, with this um, here, with the music notes. Sure, why not? I wish for some vintage feel. I wish for some maybe maybe doodling a little bit of uh, focal point or something, some maybe a flower, maybe leaf, maybe some sort of foliage. I really would love uh, for you to stop feeling intimidated by the project and the amount of supplies I'm using and focus on really using basics just so you can feel it, just so you won't be thinking, oh no, I don't have this, no, this is too much, too many steps, I'm not going to do it, I don't know how to do it, da di da di da I would love you to sit down with me right now and do this page with me. Look, this is just paper. This is watercolor paper, but if you don't own one, that's okay. Just, just grab whatever paper you have, maybe mixed media paper. I don't know, whatever you, you fancy, whatever you have in the house. I'm thinking as well of maybe one more layer, why not? How about adding it here or here just for contra, con, contra something something? Um, I, I, it's not about me, but I do say I a lot, I guess, in the videos, because I do stuff and I think and I'm this and that, <laughs> so I, but us, we could together create some beautiful page uh, with just basic supplies. So let's try that. I would love you to try with me. I I really wish for you to trust the process, trust me that you can do it and we can do it together. So if you don't have watercolor paper, that's okay. If you don't have old book pages, that's fine. How about using, instead of watercolor paper, how about using regular paper? And if you don't have old book pages, you can use magazines, right? I guess that's all fine. You can just use magazines and we should be just right about whatever we're creating. Oh, I love, love, love this. So we're making this textury background and it's very much interesting because it has all these layers and all these textures and all these beautiful designs on top of um, it's like it's 
gorgeousness like I absolutely adore that already and you know what we didn't even do much here it's just so pretty as it is and I'm hoping for top part to maybe do a doodling and figure it out <laughs> what's that tool about because I've never used it before I don't think I've seen much of it maybe I did see something but it's just something I I purchased to be honest without really reading what I'm purchasing I thought Do you know what it's fine I get it I take it we shall see and that's what I did so I hope you can see that I am adding on the sides kind of focusing my energy here on the side so one side and kind of drifting towards here which I think as well we may just go with that oh I think we may need this extra um, extra extra what extra glue <laughs> extra what extra glue do you know what guys I also wanted to say and stress something super important to me I would love you to know how important you are to me and how much you have given me support and love in the past difficult weeks and the fact you've been watching my videos and coming back to my channel that was so amazing and so needed like seriously I so needed to be creative on both channels this one and Marami Simple Craft as well and that gave me so much peace so thank you so much for watching for being there because it really makes a difference uh, when you are around I love this guys I think I'm gonna leave this one as it is because I just think it's so beautiful mm, uh, the only thing is that imagine if this could go there but how about, as I have mentioned, using this, oh, oh, I love this. Imagine this being used now. Oh, wow, what we, ooh, I love it. Let's use this one here. Mm -hmm. I may not finish this video right now and I may, may come back because I have tennis classes in, 15 minutes <laughs> I need to get change and and all but I was so excited to come here because Hannah is on her gymnastics right now Emily's doing her homework and Lucas is getting ready as well because I have signed him for the classes as well for the tennis he 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 loves tennis and I hope he will love the classes as well he said he doesn't need them it's not that he's that good but he did he's like I'm not into being professional and I'm like well Lucas I'm not into being professional either but there's nothing wrong with getting better with the skills and yeah why not how about using this one let's see I'm gonna try to have this and see what will happen Oh, I like that. Do you know what? It is not perfect, but that's okay. I think it's fine because it's not perfect. What I may do is, I may glue it down. I may just take this away, as in make it thinner. Oopsie, <laughs> I didn't plan that. No, no, that's okay, that's okay. I may just grab this one like that. Do you know what I'm gonna swap and have only this here and I'm gonna swap by adding a music notes here instead I think it's gonna be lovely like that because oh how about this oh wow I love that and maybe this here or something wow I like that I'm not sure 100% what I'm doing guys forgive me I don't that's okay we're just going with the flow oh I love this or swapping to this no I like the other one better what about if this is go oh wow look at that I have an idea how about having these oh love this look at that guys keeping this edge straight why not keeping this one here and how about oh, I have such a great idea look what we may do is we may just stick this together like that yeah we need water Lucas well, 
Yeah, we need water and we, we're going. Yes, I, I'm, I, I'm nearly there, Lucas. I just need to glue this down and I'll be right back. So, oh, I love it. I love it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to glue these down because why not? And we need a merch saying why not? <laughs> If you're watching my videos for a long time, which is 10 years now, um, you would know that I often say, why not? Why not to use it here? Why not to play with that? Why not? <laughs> like, what's stopping you? So my, my saying a lot of times would be, why not? Like, there's no thing that is stopping you from, you know, stuff. So I'm thinking too... Um, glue this down here one second like this something along these lines then we need proper glue here so proper glue I'm thinking possibly maybe some sort of heavy gel medium that's what I may do if it's working because I haven't used it forever so let's see if it's it is working so what I may do is I'm just gonna grab that gel medium here yes love this uh, I'm gonna add this gel medium on the back kind of generous amount guys and I'm gonna put heavy books on top and hopefully this will stick while I be playing the tennis on uh, my classes and I be back to you in the evening so I can finish off because I would love this to be glued down very much properly Obviously I could use something else like print stick and stuff but because I'm using like double-ish kind of stuff here like you know uh, as in oh I love it uh, as in two cardboard-ish feeling stuff oh I love this guy so much <gasps> oh this is so gorgeousness do you know what one is I need some better glue here because it does not want to stick so we need to glue this goes to the wash and do you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just now see if I can there we go do like this do like this and voila and I'm gonna keep this until I'm back and I'll see you in a minute hopefully this will just stick hello friends back to you it's evening time it's actually half 9 p.m. Hannah is uh, falling asleep with my Lucas uh, he's putting her to bed and here is our page, dry and so pretty. And it is flat, which is fantastic. Oh, we can tackle in something. So my idea is to, I think, do something here in terms of color. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna add some white gesso in places. I don't know yet, but what I'm thinking is to have a play with this thing it's drawing and mapping nib set plums a design at cartography so ideal for nib flex line width and detail so I'm guessing these are like like drawing tools Ooh, and I don't know like we're gonna just find out and I guess you use it like with is it like with calligraphy ink or something I'd say so. Ooh, wow, I love the little box. So I'm guessing we could possibly. Oh, this one is probably for this one, is it? Or not? Ginny Mac, I have no idea how on earth. Oh, 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 it's working. Wow. And this one? This one is probably for this one. It is. Wow. This is sharp. Be careful. So there's few of these nibs and things and okay, but let's try with these two and let's put this aside and let's just have a little bit of, I don't know what, <laughs> drawing, doodling, what is it? Oh wow, oh, no way, I love it. This is so delicate. Oh my, my, like, is this the case that this thing drips down? Ooh, that is so interesting now. Oh my, oh that's that's even nicer. <laughs> I guess. Imagine we could do a little bit of drawing, like, I don't know, like flowers or something. Either way, this is quite, 
quite interesting and what's interesting as well is the fact that this is so delicate you know this is such a small thing like it's a, such a fine detailed lines wow oh so pretty well I have no idea how to use it but I do like it wow we what about if we imagine take a water and oh no way that is so cool that could be for some other next project imagine that oh I love this now imagine this you have you you have like a like this thing and you kind of like woo no way <laughs> I think this is gonna be my next project or something do you know what I also think that wouldn't that be just phenomenal if we could have such a focal point here I think that would be lovely I think I'm gonna have a little bit of a play and make this maybe it's uh, this kind of parsley um, something I don't know it's like this I'm gonna just try and do a little bit of um, a little bit of doodles or something um, I'm thinking that this is such an ideal and fun tool because you can do so much with it now that I'm thinking seriously and it's a delicate and it probably is gonna write on top of most of the things I'm guessing or a lot of things oh I love this this is so cool I love it what's the name oops that's probably one of the things I'm kind of scared of it <laughs> if it's too much now in comparison what will happen if we're gonna do the same thing with my forever favorite pilot GTX C4 how different that is gonna be you know I wonder is it like it's 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 most definitely it's easier to maneuver it um, but I think I like this one more because it's blacker so you know what I'm gonna be I'm gonna try I'm gonna see and and try it out if I can if I can manage it and have this drawing here happening However, I need to make sure I'm not going to have any blob of paint, I guess. At least I'm going to try to not have any. There we go. Let's see. Um. Oh, this could be so cute, like. This is so cute, if you think about it. Oh, I love it. I love this tool I'm gonna be like am I mapping? I'm not probably no <laughs> that make no sense Marta uh, but what I'm what I may just do is I'm gonna just try and have a play with it basically and just see what's that gonna take me you know I love how delicate this is and this tool it's like quite an interesting one I must say wow I love it it is so different to using my pen you know that I'm using for the last long time the GTX C4 this is so cool this is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Wowie. Oh. Uh. 
I'm sorry for being quiet, but I'm just so amazed with this tool because I seriously haven't discovered that earlier. It's like I purchased it a couple days ago, so it's just nice to find a completely new tool because I love finding new things and having a go at things and just really truly enjoy it like now so and just be surprised with it and be surprised with the effect of what this is actually giving us I love it so very much guys I really do and I think well, what, I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just have a play here as well with this one and oh wow Oh. okay maybe a little more I wonder do you know this tool I'm sure you do do you use it like did you play with it because I think I just discovered something that is gonna be like totally Marta's new style I think um, because I I was so long using the GTX C4 and it's amazing and I will be definitely using it but this is giving me like a completely new sort of light if you know what I mean it's giving me this opportunity of uh, trying out something way different and I love that and what's amazing is that you can change those nibs I guess and you can change those colors as well and wow this is so crazy nice I love it I don't know the name of this um, when you do pickles I think you do you add this to pickles so I don't know the name <laughs> It would be lovely to know the name indeed name of this uh, flower I mean oh my this is so cute I love it I'm doing like a little bit of um, dots as well as in seeds and stuff I just I love it so very much okay I have my camera closer this is so amazing I just love it it's just so, something so different to my normal you know how I would draw and uh, I love it I think I need to be a little bit more relaxed with that one Um, oh that's so cute I think we need a little bit few more dots and um, wow let me know do you know this tool did you use it did you ever play with it did you see it anywhere anyone else playing with it what are your thoughts about it because I'm in love with it like completely I'm I'm, I'm I love 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 it like hugely now and I'm so glad I discovered it again by accident I just purchased it <laughs> in my local store so I just hope I'm not gonna make a blob of color this blacky thing so that's why I'm kind of like dipping away I don't know I love how actually it writes like totally completely it does write on the surface you know properly as it's supposed to oops I just said that it's right and didn't <laughs> that's okay I think it's okay because um, you have to at some point dip it again and again right I'd say I absolutely adore this now um, super cute page I must say and I love that um, we need to do a little bit more I think of these kind of uh, veins and you know I think it has to be slightly more to what we have right now to make this spot more uh, bulky and I don't know realistic looking I guess I love this wow so cute 
and here as well. You can add some dots and little design. Um, I don't know exactly the design that should be there, but I'm kind of improvising and I love that. You know, I think it's okay to improvise and just to let it go and <laughs> this is so cute and so pretty uh, I hope I'm not making you bored with all these little dots and stuff because I totally I'm I'm totally loving the process and that's exactly what I was thinking I really wanted something something in here I didn't know what to be honest but something as delicate as that and that you know it could be just lovely I'm thinking it would be just fantastic if we could have a little bit of that play here as well. I didn't finish the flower yet, but I'm just, I'm just so excited that I'm so excited that I I keep on forgetting to finish <laughs> fully. I think I'm a little bit. I I think I have to be a little bit more less formal about this as in be more um, delicate and not delicate just just let go and delicate drawings and stuff like that rather than being so stressed over um, that it has to be equal and even and all no it doesn't have to be actually it's quite opposite to that it has to be just what it is delicate free Chillax, relaxed, you know. Wow, I love this. I think I need more dots, I'm guessing. Everywhere in the flowerito thing, we need some more dots. Everywhere. So that will give us light and feeling of the... Yeah, that it's just delicate. Oh, sorry about that. I forgot to turn off my phone. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love it. I love it. Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> wow we So nice. Okay. Let's have a little play here, but also let's see what will happen if we will do this and what if we do a little bit of water. Let's see. So we have the brush. I'm going to, actually I'm going to take a slightly bigger brush. So instead of spraying, what I may do is I'm just gonna have a little play of this kind and see oh yes it will work but not everywhere because of the paper not being watercolor but that's okay as well oh I love it so much went on top of that absolutely gorgeousness now my thinking as well is now we have the black one but we have the sepia color as well imagine that um i'm gonna just do a little bit of the link on that watercolor paper thing i think it's just so lovely to have that bit of play a vintage page no cost page now i've nearly forgot well first of all i'm gonna just add some more doodles to see what's going on 
Uh, same for here, we're just gonna add it on top of the watercolor paper thing. Okay, that's awesome. There we go. We can add it here as well and see what will happen. Now, I forgot, of course, we have the tea, which is <laughs> which is here. Um, I may just grab the brush and oh, I love it. So nice. Oh, I think it would be lovely to use this since I have this done. It would be just lovely to use that color pigment. Um, oh, I love it. And maybe paint with it, like fully, fully paint, if you know what I mean. Wow, we, how cute. Oh, I love this so much. I love the tea dye color here. It is beautiful. Now, I'm gonna dry this, and my thinking is it would be great to dry it and do some maybe white somewhere, we'll see. Page is pretty much dry, not completely, not fully, but we can start doing a little bit of doodles around just to see. I love my pen, my Pilot GTX C4. It is super important to me. I just love using it now. My thinking is, how about grabbing some bit of paint and just, oh, make this a little bit more dreamy looking. Why not? Yeah. So, that kind of, that kind of way, you know, making this snowy, dreamy a little bit. And not everywhere, but in a few places, like here, for example, it's such a little amount of white that maybe it would be nice to have a little bit of that play. I'm also thinking what about a little bit of text stamping, white text stamping or something like this. So who knows where is our mind gonna drift today? <laughs> oh, I love it. I so love it. I so love it. I'm thinking maybe a tiny title as well, like, like like really tiny title uh, maybe like here a little a little word oops a little word or something like that you know like one word I don't know what would it oops what it would oh, I love this <gasps> I so love this guys oh kind of reminds me of old days painting with tea painting with coffee seriously like it it really does remind me of all these times. <laughs> wow. I so love this. I'm doing like a second layer of that tea. <laughs> of that tea. Because why not? We can. And do you know what? I, the last thing I wish is to have um, splashes of tea on that white. I really wish this white to stay white, to not be disturbed by any any of the paint, anything, zero, like complete zero. Um, so yes, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just, because <laughs> I think that's enough of uh, maybe white as a background, maybe now few splashes of white, however, um, oh, I, oops, <laughs> I just dipped my, this, I just dipped this, that's okay, no, oh, I love this, I think it's gonna be just gorgeous, a delicate, because it's just so old, old, um, really, it's, it's, it's vintagey feel when you have kind of this, I don't know, this tea thing happening, so why not? <laughs> why not? Painting with tea, I love that idea. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Now, we have that. What about a white splashes? Yes, definitely. We need some tiny brush. I have one. And I think the white splashes are going to be such a phenomenal, oh, I love it, such a phenomenal touch and feel. Everything should be, or whatever we landing, our splash should be really dry, because otherwise it's diluted in the tea. <laughs> so that's not maybe the best option. Um, oh, I love this, guys. 
guys, girls, ladies and gentlemen, everyone, my dear friends, my Marimi friends, I love this two bits, like literally two bits. I love the white, I don't mind this on the tee as well, it's so different. <laughs> and I also think that I'm gonna clean this off and why not have a touch of black splashes then. Yes! Well, it would help and be handy to dry it first. No, no joke. <laughs> but being impatient and also it's, it's interesting to see how different things become because they're not cleaned on time or this and that. So it's, it's always interesting as well to see. Did we keep that white? We did! Oh, I love it! I think even bigger maybe. Truthfully, maybe even bigger uh, title. I think I found something that may match quite well. My own stickers. Uh, do what you love, love what you do. And honestly, this page, it's exactly how I feel because I really loved the process. I really enjoyed uh, the whole idea of this page, um, how it came all to life together. That, might, that doesn't make sense how it came to life together. <laughs> Either way, I just think it is so pretty and also it's because it really does feel like, again, like old Marta kind of project. And let me grab this. This is thing, you know, for the paper folding and it's gonna help you with stickers. It feels old Marta and I feel that somehow unknowingly I'm on the way of coming back with the kind of old feels about the projects. You know, going back to using what I have or in this case using like tea, uh, no cost supplies or checking completely new stuff like them things. So, do you know, it was really, really interesting uh, to, to feel the process, to, to try a different supply with you, to really uh, get out of my comfort zone in a way, but also it feels like old Marta all together with the vintage feel, with all of it, with all these layers, I just love them. And I hope, honestly, I hope you like that as well. Let's just have one more little play, as in, I think it would be just so nice if we could have a little bit of, I think we could have a little bit of that uh, delicate, play here like scribbly it feels so fantastic <laughs> the scribbles and all oh I love it so much especially scribbles on the whitish surface kind of thing like here wow uh, maybe as well something like this yeah I think I'm done because I'm kind of at the point that I'm thinking Marta be careful you will overdo it the only thing is that will that some sentence progress not perfection I like that um, ah, chaos on paper brings me peace peace of mind this is so true and you know what I'm gonna try and see I I think I'm gonna give some paper bring me peace of mind I think I'm gonna just have it here because I just feel I need it there it's kind of feels feel empty space with that white and it's waiting sort of for for something you know oh I love it oh I love it so much 
If you're wondering, this is a set of A4 size antiquarian stickers from my store. There is a half of the size as well stickers, which is A4, A5. Uh, or you can have a mixture of few small, few big for a, a better kind of uh, price, as in more affordable. If you don't want the whole set of A4 or A5. So have a look at the shop. I love them because look like they they have the choice you have bigger and smaller like I use them all the time I also cut them because oops sometimes it feels that you know it's just easier for me to cut it but I use it all the time because truthfully like it's it's transparent it's a nice um, font as well and I just love the idea of having all sorts of wording and my message it's on the sticker and it's like I'm giving that message here on my project so here is that <laughs> okay my gorgeous beautiful friends I think we we can call this one done and dusted thank you so much for watching I wonder your thoughts on this one let me know if you have ever used um, the drawing mapping nibs the you know for writing did you ever use this before also what's the name of that flower I wonder who's gonna be first to tell me because I have no clue I know that when you do pickles in the jars you use this that's all I know so that could be like dill or something anyway my beautiful friends thank you so much for watching I hope you liked it and enjoyed it and you're gonna try to make your very own vintage no cost page use what you have and just have fun thank you I'll chat to you very soon I love you bye for now